Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to wear the lace front support strap using double sided tape. So the tape that I'm going to be using is, it's just a lace front support tape. I've had it for years and I don't even know the brand. But for this video we're going to use the smaller tape which is exactly the same size of the, the strap. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, for stocking caps, I like to use the no-nonsense knee highs. You get 10 in a pack for $9.99, and to me, they work great for stocking caps. They're so tight, and all you have to do is put them on and cut the top out. Okay, the most important part of the process for the strap is making sure that you have the stationary fastener lined up behind your ear. And whatever hand you are, that's the hand you want to use to slide. So I'm left-handed, so my so I like to slide or tighten it, the slider, with my left hand. So basically the strap is going to be put on to where I can slide it with my left hand. And the sliding is always going to be facing outwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. And I have a mirror right there, so I'm going to be looking in the mirror. And just position that stationary fastener behind my head. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. I'm not going to overly tighten it. So basically, it looks like this around my head. <clears throat> so for my double-sided tape, I'm going to go ahead and use this tape that's exactly the same size of the, uh, the strap. So I'm going to start my tape. I'm going to start it right here. So. I'm trying to make sure I have it right on the end. I probably could have made my strap just a little bit tighter so it won't move. And I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I'm going to give it some pressing. Make sure it sticks. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it just a little bit more. Now I think before I take the tape off, I'm going to go ahead and move it to where I want it. So I'm going to move my stocking cap to the back. I'm going to put it right there. I want it behind my ear. And maybe I'll position my wig in place before I take the sticky off. That way no flyaway hairs, to make sure all the flyaway hairs are back. So the wig that I'm using is Wendy Williams Hair Whirl Wig. And the reason why I'm using this wig is because all my wigs that I personally made have straps sewn in them already. <clears throat> so this is a full lace frontal, as you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and position it in place and stick the combs in. So you want to make sure that the comb in the back, your strap, <clears throat> is not caught up in the comb. So I'll move the strap way down here and I'll find my comb and I stuck it in. You don't want your strap inside of the comb because the strap has to adhere to your neck to keep it from moving. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my combs in the side. I am going to bend this back. Well, I can't really bend it back, so I'll just put it back there. And what I'll do is clip the hair out of place. Okay, so I'm going to take my tweezers 
and I'm going to go ahead and try and peel this off on video. That was simple. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line it up right at the edge of the strap. Stick into my finger. I don't know that I'm getting it pretty lined up and I think it's <laughs> because my mirror is way back here. So I'm going to rub it down in place. And now I'm going to scoot it back and pull out my edges to cover the front of this wig. So I'm going to Make sure my strap's nice and tight. And I'm just going to slide it back. So I lift it up so you can see. There's the strap. Pretty stuck. Now I have to tell you, all the tapes I've tried, I've never I've never got more than a day's hold. It's, it's, this is not the right color of my hair, obviously, but for purposes of the video, I'm using this wig. I was actually sent this wig to review, which I do have a video, but I didn't, I have already had it on. I didn't put it on and I didn't try to match it with my hairline. So, um, there you have it. That's how you use a double-sided tape. It's really tight. So as you can see, it's starting to lift already. It will hold pretty good around the front, but the sides do lift. All the tapes that I have, the sides lift. And if you want, if you want, if you don't want to mess up, if you don't mind messing up your wigs, well, not to say you will mess up your wigs, but if you have some glue, you can rub some glue on your finger. I have did this before and I'll show you how I do it. Actually, I'll just use the brush. Go ahead, just put a little glue on that tape. You know how messy the glue is, can you see it? <laughs> And then lay it and hold and and it will stick. I think I don't know a lot of people put the glue I don't know you put it on your finger and then you stick it I don't know I don't use the glue. I've used it before but I haven't used it because it's too messy and I basically don't wear the strap this way but a lot of you will want to wear the strap this way. So it'll stick really good once you put the glue on and let it hold. So to take it off, I'm going to take it off and you don't have to take the strap off of the wig if you got a pretty good hole. So I'm going to take my combs out and show you the strap. So there's the strap, it's taped, you know, it's using a double sided tape. This is the side that I kind of put the glue on. So it's all ready for you to wear another day or until the strap, you know, comes completely off and then you peel the glue off. So follow in this video I'll show you how easy it is to just take the tape off the strap and reuse the strap.